COSI with Lori Miller, and um, we have another little friend with us. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? This is R2D2. She's our Chilean rose haired tarantula. Oh my goodness. And she's a part of our living collections here. And lots of people have pretty big feelings when it comes to spiders. Yeah. Uh, but one of the really cool things about them is their spider silk. So we are trying to manufacture it because it's super strong and super lightweight. So if we can figure out how to produce it in large quantities, yeah. we can make things like bridge cables, um, bulletproof clothing. You Do can I use need it to in the medical her? field. <laughs> yeah, you can actually hold her if you want. If okay. you just put your hand down just like that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and move her. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep, just like that. Oh. So a lot of the fear that people have is sort of that guttural instinct yeah. where really you can see um, she's pretty calm, yeah. uh, but we can also ch check her behavior um, to see how she's feeling. So if she was really feeling threatened right now, she would lift up these petty palps and she would show you her fangs oh. um, as sort of a first indicator that yeah. she's not feeling comfortable. And clearly if we would see that behavior, we're just gonna go ahead and put her down. Yeah. Um, but she's very comfortable in your hand right there. Oh, she's um, very sweet. So a really fun connection to the arthropods that we have here at COSI is our new King Tut exhibit. Yeah. So animals are sacred in ancient Egypt and we know that by looking at hieroglyphs and uh, different artifacts that we find. Uh, but one of the more common ones that we see is the scarab beetle. And now, full disclosure, we were going to have a cockroach here today because they are <laughs> close to the scarab. Yes. But Monica Day's got a phobia, folks. So we, I was like, <laughs> not, no cockroaches, but bring out the hairy spider, okay? <laughs> so, so that is why our friend is here and we learned some new and exciting things. Yep. But you have an example of a scarab beetle, right? I do. We have a scarab beetle that is in a pendant form, which is actually, even today, in the New Kingdom of Egypt, they would wear these as a form of protection mm -hmm. um, and good luck. Uh, but in uh, King Tut's tomb, they actually found a beautiful brooch um, with a scarab beetle that has wings. Now they don't actually have wings, so oh. this was added as another level of protection and it's a connection to the sun and represents rebirth um, and regeneration. So to include that in his tomb yeah. would have been very meaningful. Um, you can even see in his cartouche, he does have two different cartouches, and one is King Tut, which is this one over here. So this here. is the Tutankhamun? Yep. Okay. And then this one is his throne name. Um, uh, <laughs> we have it on the we back. We have it written on the let's, back. Let's try it. It yeah. is Neb Ka Prure. That's it. Okay. I'll let her say it. <laughs> <laughs> we needed some notes because yeah. that's a tough one. Right. It's not common, and people <laughs> right. don't use that name associated with it's him very much. It's not Tutankhamun. Right. <laughs> so we do see the scarab beetle represented there um, as well. Now I will say I'm not afraid of the beetle, but do not bring the cockroach near me. <laughs> um, so are these some of the things that people can learn about when they come to the new exhibit? Yes, absolutely. Come and check out all the different hieroglyphs that you're gonna find there and see if you can find the scarab beetle yourself and maybe some other animals that you would find there. Yeah, it's so exciting. I'm glad that we have the exhibit here. Um, and it, it just opened, so this is something that people are just now coming in to see and really getting excited about. Yeah, we are really excited. Um, just opened yesterday um, and we can't wait to see everybody come and check this out. It really is an opportunity to be in an immersive experience like you're walking into his tomb. So really unique, super excited. Pretty fun stuff here at COSI. And thank you so much R2D2. R2D2. Thank you R2D2 for being so helpful with us today.